welcome to Lynn's Recipes. I'm getting ready to make some butterscotch dip. This dip is really good to have as a snack, you can have it for a dessert, or you could take it to a party. I'm only going to make half of this dip, but in the information box I'll list the entire recipe for you. The amounts of the ingredients you're going to need to make this dip will be listed in the information box below where you can find it on the website. The ingredients are You'll need some butterscotch chips, some sweetened condensed milk, ground cinnamon, salt, and white vinegar. What I have here is a glass heat-proof bowl that I've got sitting on a pot filled with, well, it's not filled with water. It's about that much water, so it becomes a double boiler. And what I'm going to do is melt my butterscotch chips in it along with the condensed milk. And we'll just let this melt all together and become smooth and I'll be stirring it while that's happening. My butterscotch chips and condensed milk are all melted and smooth and now we're going to take this off and I'm going to stir in the cinnamon and the salt. Okay, so now it's time to stir in the vinegar. Now, you need to do this like a tablespoon at a time, and um, the more you put in, the thicker it's going to be. So I'm going to start with about a tablespoon and see if that's good enough, or to my desired consistency. And I think I'm happy with this consistency, so I'm going to stop there. So now what I'm going to do is show you how I'm going to serve it. Okay, so I've decided to serve mine with Granny Smith apple slices and some graham cracker sticks. This is butterscotch dip. I hope you enjoy it.